Adobe Illustrator is a graphic designing software. It is a vector based uh, software. It is used to create uh, illustrations, logo designs and uh, more other digital designs used for printing, publishing, uh, web designing and application design and many more of that sort. So Adobe Illustrator is a very powerful software and uh, uh, it's very fun to learn. So I thought to make a, a, program, a tutorial series on this particular subject. This video covers the selection tool and uh, my name is Vishal. Uh, let's have a look into this particular tutorial. So uh, if you see this uh, particular scene or the file what I've got right now, I've got different shapes in it which I've just created with simple uh, tools available inside Illustrator leaving this apart uh, so uh, uh, in the toolbox uh, here we have this tool called selection tool I can use a keyboard shortcut of V to access that particular tool so if I go to Windows and then just try to toolbar here so if I switch off this basics uh, you could see that toolbar is missing so if I click it again you get that toolbar so I can also go for advanced toolbar where you get that expanded uh, version. So first thing first is uh, I was talking about the selection tool. So if I could so you see this it's just a simple arrows head and uh, you have two types here but I'm talking about this particular tool here. So if you want to access that tool you can press V on the keyboard and then you can uh, access the tool. So the uh, primary purpose of this tool is to select any object inside the file. So not only that, you can also move that file once you have selected them. Okay. So you can just select and move it. And then uh, we have uh, uh, multiple objects here. So how do I do that transformation on multiple objects? Just I need to hold shift and then select the second object. And then when I click and drag, the both objects are uh, moving. So when I have just enabled uh, this selection tool and then selected these objects, it is giving me a chance to move it. And also we can generally rotate them. Okay. And also you can scale it proportionally. So by just by holding on the corner. And non-proportionally also you can scale just by holding the scale tool here. Uh, this corner in the middle or this one. So you can do that. So transforming object is quite simple with this particular tool. So if I generally see we have a few properties in the properties bin again you can go to window and then uh, find properties to get that window on. So you get the properties here. So you can just drag and then put it there here. So here we have this transform tool here. We can uh, the move the object in X axis here right now. I have got some units of 90 I can just change the value and then the object moves uh, in the x-axis so it is moving towards the left if I increase the value to 100 the, the, uh, the object is going to the right side of the uh, canvas and we have y-axis also you can generally reduce the number to go up and increase the number to come down okay so we have the rotation uh, thing also you can uh, rotate the object uh, just by changing the numbers here so we have apart from that uh, we have the width option and the height option so you want to proportionally scale this you can enable this option here so I can just increase this value to 125 or maybe 250 so the object gets scaled and the width and the height are logged here so if I generally um, switch off the proportional scaling and if I change this to 250 only the width is scaling and the height is not affected uh, so um, proportional scaling is very important in that matter so we have this uh, objects here which have uh, uh, scaled with the properties and also you can select the um, object right click here and we have this section called uh, transform in that we have option called move open that dialog and then you have options to transform the object so right now it is uh, having uh, values there 
which is uh, showing the effect. So if I generally enter the value of 15 in horizontal, it's moving horizontal. You can also preview the object if you want, or you can generally see or avoid the change until you say OK. So if, if you switch off the preview, it's not showing the change with what happened. But later when I say OK, the object gets transformed. So uh, not only the move, you have the rotate tool and you can enter the rotation value here. You have uh, a reflect which will uh, either reflect vertically or it will reflect horizontally. So you can see the preview if you wanted the same way which happens for uh, the vertical thing. You can also rotate the object if you wanted and then apply OK. If you enable copy, it will make a copy and then duplicate them. Okay. You can select and then try uh, uh, seeing the other uh, uh, features also like scale which will affect the scale, proportional scaling and non-uniform scaling. Okay. And then we have uh, a shear. Again, I'm giving a value of 25. You can check the preview on off. So you can see uh, you want to do that horizontally or vertically or you can just give a value to the angle of shear. To see the difference you can just or sometimes it will also help you to refresh the whole thing. So that's uh, the shear thing. So apart from that you have this nice tool called transform each. So I'll just select uh, 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 the objects. They are, if you see, they are individual objects here. So when I select all of them here by just dragging and then rotate them, so all objects are collectively getting rotated, just like that, as one, one single object. But if I right-click and then go to transform each, and then when I do the transformation, I'll just uh, uh, put the values to default okay now if you see uh, I'm adding a value of 45 degrees uh, for the rotation and when I enable preview you see every object is rotating in its own uh, uh, you know on, on its own uh, pivot point on its own center so they're rotating individually that's what uh, generally the transform each means okay and then we have uh, transform again, which basically applies the transformation which I have done previously. So if I press Ctrl D, it will generally repeat the transformation which we have done to the object. Okay. So basically, select tool will not only select the object, but also move, scale, rotate, shear them. And also it will help in, uh, you know, aligning objects. Uh, which I'll be covering in a different video.